Happy Flag Day! Ladies and gentlemen, the American German Bulldog Nation in this day in history in 1777, our founding fathers adopted the stars and bars as our flag, and we celebrate it today, which is Flag Day. I once put together a great rally for Flag Day back during the Gulf War, and Lee Greenwood came to Oldenburg Brewery and sang. It was pretty cool. Also today, happy birthday to number 45, Donald John Trump. May he continue to lead us on. I wish him and his wife and family the greatest birthday that he's ever had. He needs to continue to fight for us. Speaking of which, Trump issued a statement over the weekend pointed out the I told you so's, which is obviously consistent with my video that I put out on Sunday, so I'm not going to regurgitate it. But I'm glad that Trump is standing up for himself and pointing out how he was right when everybody was saying he was wrong over and over and over again. Uh, funny story, 5,800 post office workers were bitten last year by dogs. All you dog lovers out there, what the heck's going on? 5,800 bitten by dogs. I have an old friend that was a uh, postal worker and he walked to Covington and had his route and everything else. That was the number one thing they hated, dogs. Uh, time cover of Biden. I mean, do you believe it? You've seen it, the cover of Biden with reflecting glasses on, trying to look cool. Remember I told you Joe Biden thinks he's cool. Time Magazine makes him look cool. I'm sure him and Jill fawned over that. I mean, it's just disgusting. I mean, it's just, you think Trump, Trump ever got a cool photo on Time Magazine? Of course not. Uh, inflation. Biden continues. I mean, the numbers just keep coming out and out and out of how bad inflation is in this country across the board. And there's some concern in my turn into hyperinflation. And you know what, folks? That is a tax upon the little guy that is just absolutely devastating. I can tell you right now, based on inflation numbers, you can all that money the government gave you, it's wiped out. No time at all. Uh, Biden was not able to take another question and he was very irritated because his staff might be mad at him. This guy is controlled by his staff. Did you ever hear Donald Trump blame his staff? When Trump came out there, did interviews, he was in command. He was the boss. He didn't rely upon staff to tell him what to do, not to do. That's the political politician way of doing things. Trump didn't have staff control him. He controlled his staff. Um, another screw up. He kept substituting Libya instead of Syria when he was talking about the Russians at the G7. I mean, he said it three times. Now, if Trump did that, they'd say senility. They'd say, oh, we have to exercise. I think it's uh, 23rd Amendment. Oh, we got to white take this guy out. Oh, he's mentally crazy. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, Biden and G7. Well, all I got to say about it is, is the number one issue that they made the number one issue was climate change versus China. They're gonna go light on China. They're not gonna do anything for chi against China. You know, China wins, Russia wins. Uh, also, Biden announced $40 trillion global infrastructure. See what I mean? They want to be president of the world, not the United States. We, I mean, first, they wanted a global tax. Now they want global infrastructure. These clowns want to be like sit on a board of global government to where Macron will have some power over the United States. Merkel has some power of the United States. Let's share world power. It makes me sick and it's dangerous. Uh, last but not least on the Biden front, I, this is, I can't make this, this is so funny. I saw a meme, I think it was Linda Caudill posted it, that they say Biden every time they say G7, Joe Biden shouts out, bingo! <laughs> you know what, I'll bet you it really has. I'll bet you he really does shout bingo. Somebody reported that the queen, Queen Elizabeth, is the epitome of white supremacy. And I thought about this. You know, this is a woman that even though she was royalty as a good little girl, worked and, you know, while bombs were hitting during World War II, has been this pillar of strength for the United Kingdom. And I also thought about this. Where are there also kings? Africa. What about all those black kings? Because their people are black. You see, I mean, it's just, it's, 
just more this white supremacy bullshit. Uh, Terry McAuliffe, a Clintonite to the core, who's been Virginia governor, is neck and neck, virtual tie by the latest poll with the Republican Virginia. Oh my goodness, if only they'd lose Virginia's governorship. That would be a signal, wouldn't it, if they lose the Republic, the Democratic governorship in Virginia? What would that mean for 2022 and 2024? Uh, Hamas, or excuse me, Hamas, I always pronounce it, get grief over it. Hamas gave Al Jazeera a professionalism award on how they covered Hamas in Israel. <laughs> What's the trophy look like? Do they put like a, blow, a bomb on a trophy? Like a, you know, what, what, what's the Hamas professionalism award look like? I mean, come on. Uh, Christopher Sign, 45 years old, a Birmingham reporter who blew the whistle on the tarmac meeting with Bill Clinton and the Attorney General Loretta Lynch, died by suicide, allegedly. 45-year-old wife and three kids. It's apparently under investigation. It's like, well, here we go again. Another Clinton suicide. I don't want to make light of his death. It's terrible and a tragedy. And a wife and three kids. But I mean, oh my God, another person that did something to Clintons. Woo! Scary. Uh, OAC is insisting that Justice Breyer retire from the Supreme Court. I mean, can you imagine if Kevin McCarthy was insisting upon the same type of thing. I mean, it, the media would go nuts. This scared. Remember what I told you about big, 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 just keeps getting bigger, nobody stops him. How sad is it that large pension funds, including BlackRock, who manages trillions of dollars, are buying up homes and renting them, and like 25% of the market is being bought by pension funds? Folks, this is bad. Home ownership is a core element of the American family and strength that an individual owns that home. Home ownership is critical. And this is going on. What's the government going to do about it? They won't. See, when government ought to do something, they don't. And when they should leave something alone, they do. That's the way the government rolls. Uh, Trump lawyers, they made a big deal that there's a subpoena that hit uh, McC McCann, his attorney, his general counsel. Why is it that the only person who has his lawyer's record subpoenaed are Trump? We had Cohen, we had Giuliani, we had his White House counsel. I mean, this is unprecedented. Lawyers getting their record subpoenaed from, from a client. Only Trump's attorneys. Uh, Cincinnati, Greater Cincinnati, uh, downtown Cincinnati, they want $5 million for poor uh, toilets all over the the, cat, the city. They say these are necessary. Are you kidding me? Five million dollars on public toilets? <sighs> Makes no sense to me. Uh, Kamala, good old Kamala, marched in the D.C. Pride Parade, but she can't go down to check out what's going on in old Texas. Kamala Harris, she's a piece of work. There is apparently a COVID smell sensor that can Figure out you got COVID by sense of smell like a dog. You put it in a room. I want to know what it says. Like, do you walk in a room and it goes, beep, 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 beep. Does it say, shoo-wee. I mean, what the heck's the COVID, Spencer? What happens when it smells COVID? Boy, maybe that's a company worth investing in. Um, Omar, Congresswoman Omar, actually retweeted a terrorism video, a terrorist group video. She's a member of Congress. In my opinion, it's the worst infiltration ever in the history of this country that we have Congressman Omar, who sits on committees, has access to information. God only where knows where that goes. And I guarantee the DOJ is not going to do anything. Oh, got to leave her alone. Uh, Dr. Birch, it comes out, good old Dr. Birch, as bad as Fauci, wanted Trump to lose. Hmm, does that make, that make sense? Everything she says, everything she does, everything she advises was crafted to help Trump lose. You know what it was? It's disgusting. Uh, Macron, he says, hey, welcome back to the club, Joe Biden. Trump tweeted about this, not tweeted about this, but he issued a statement about it. I mean, since when does being in the club is what we want? We don't want our president to be in the club of a bunch of leaders. We want him to look out for the United States' interests. 
Uh, probably one of the worst things that's going on with this new wokeness is a New Jersey high school actually marked with a Sharpie marker kids that went to prom whether they were vaccinated or not. Branding children over vaccination. And again, remember, A, they don't get it. B, if they do get it, nothing happens. Bill Maher once again comes, boy, this guy, he keeps going. He comes out in the defense of whites, saying, how, come, how can they say being white is a malady that can't be cured? I mean, Bill Maher let him have it, including Kevin Hart. He let Kevin Hart have it too. Good for Bill Maher. Representative Chip Roy wants to pass a law that says the Chinese communists should not be able to invest in real estate in this country. Makes sense to me. Why, why shouldn't that not be the law? Why should we let the Chinese buy any real estate in this country? Scary as hell. Rashid Tlaib, another great congresswoman, says there's no freedom of speech for Muslim women in Congress. Isn't that great? She's complaining about free speech. Well, guess what? There's no free speech for white heterosexual males anymore. A New Jersey school was under fire for getting rid of all holiday names. I mean, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Fourth of July, Memorial Day. What the hell, is, who does Thanksgiving offend? Who does Fourth of July offend? They're just calling them holidays. There's gonna be a lot of Trumpers running for school boards across this country. Uh, sad report, suicide attempts way up, way up amongst young in the pandemic. Collateral damage, thank you very much, Fauci and Burks. Last but not least, a very wise judge has got serious questions about the constitutionality of farm relief that was targeted just for black farmers. Screw the white farmers, only black farmers should get relief. Makes no sense, unconstitutional as hell. Good for that judge. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great Monday.